Well, in dealing with what the gift is, and I saw a video earlier mirrored by uh, Brother Wayne. Very well done, man. And, and that's one of the things that uh, did help me to get out of um, Calvinism, Lordship, Salvation, because I realized the gift is not the gift of faith, the gift of grace. The gift itself is salvation that was paid for by the Lord Jesus Christ, the eternal Son of God. He paid for it at the cross. When he died for your sins, was buried, rose again. And a lot of you guys know the gospel. That is the power of God, actually. The power of God is the gospel, which is the death, burial, and the resurrection of Christ Jesus, our Savior and Lord. It's by accepting. If you accept him, you want to be saved, it's easy as saying, yes, Lord, I believe in what you did for me. You believe that? It's just saying yes. But believing, it's a little... Uh, Little faith is not but a mustard seed, the Bible says. The little faith you have, you place it on the Lord Jesus Christ, little to none almost. But all the little bit of faith, all that little bit you have, God can use that. And you're given the free gift of salvation, forgiveness of sins, redemption, perpetuation, once and for all, cleansed of your sins. Does not need to re be repeated. It's a one-time deal. It's an event. And the gift is salvation. The gift isn't faith. The gift is not grace. That's God's business. Grace. But you use the faith you have. And you put it on the Lord Jesus Christ, the Savior. And isn't he wonderful? Um, once again, you know, place your faith on the Lord Jesus Christ. And don't look back. It's a done deal. No matter how you run into doubt sometime, you might have dark times and the devil gets you to wondering if you believed hard enough or did I, oh, did I say the right thing or, you know, don't get in that trap. That's just the devil trying to mess with your head. And that's all that is to keep you from growing. It's time to put that behind you and move forward. Putting those things behind, moving forward and growing in grace of who you are in Christ now. You don't have to worry about that anymore. Don't worry about it anymore. You've decided, I've trust on Christ, plus nothing else. Yes, Lord, I believe, the end. If you can just say that, yes, Lord, Lord, I believe, and you mean it the best you can, guess what, that's faith, that's enough. That's vital, that's, uh, that, that, that'll work, that'll work, it's good enough. God's in the business of saving. He's not asking you to jump through these weird spiritual hoops. Do I believe enough? Oh, my God. I don't know if I believed enough. You know, <laughs> the devil gets you chase, chasing your tail if he can get you off your mind, off it, you know, of the simplicity of the gospel. God's in the business to save you so much, it's unbelievable. You have no idea. He's so ready to save you. Just by saying, yes, Lord, I believe. But you have, must believe the gospel. That he did something for you. And believe on that Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The everlasting Son of God. From everlasting unto everlasting. Very simple. Very simple. So I'd say if you uh, have any problem with that, you shouldn't no more. You've heard it. You've heard, that's the word of God, I'm telling you. It's that easy. And God promises that if you believe on my son, you have eternal life, and you shall not perish. You shall not ever come into condemnation. You've passed from death unto life. It ain't a feeling, folks. You might not feel saved tomorrow. You might feel like, you, oh, man. I'm being hit by this, hit by that. It's dark. It's, But God changeth not. He is faithful. Whether you are or not, he remains faithful. And you are sealed by the Holy Spirit until the day of redemption. But I hope you guys uh, understand this, the simplicity of the gospel. God never made it to be a difficult thing to believe. 
believe is believe or you don't believe. Do you believe? Can you say yes? Well, then you're good to go. Quit, quit worrying about it. It's just the devil messing with you. If you want to be saved, God, guess what? God's going to save you. If you believe the correct gospel, which is the correct gospel, is that he died for you. He paid the price for your sins once and for all at the cross. The eternal Savior who died for your sins was buried and rose again. That God, that Savior, the creator of all things, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, eternal Son of God. Amen and amen. So, God bless you. I hope that helps you. You know, don't doubt it no more. No matter how you feel or what your head starts telling you, okay? God bless.